Today, I'm going to show you how to make a world from scratch within Resonite. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open your dash. And I have my dash a little bit differently um, because you can, you can move facets around on your dash and edit things, which will be covered. But on your home screen, you will have a button that looks like this. It's a little sort of orb with a plus and it's gonna be green. So if I click that, then there is going to be a dialogue in here that lets you create a new world. So what I normally like to recommend is to create a grid space. That is a very nice blank slate that you can start with. Now, you can always rename the world later. However, if you're just going to want to work on this by yourself, I, I suggest setting this to be private. Now, once you've done that, you can click Start Session, and this will load you into the new world. Here we are. So let's bring this back out. All right. So you can see now, now that we're in the new world, there is automatic lighting, automatic shadows, you can do that, and nothing else really. So if I go into third person here, then you can see around me, there's nothing. It is a blank slate. So from here, you can just save it and it's just your world. Now, the way you can save this is smooth POV. You can see my camera controls up there, a bit recursive. So under session down here, you will have this menu. Now in this menu, you can save as. This is going to save your world to your inventory. Now, it will save the world as well under your worlds tab here if you go to my world. So this is a bunch of stuff that I've made. So back on here, as long as you are in a spot in your inventory where you feel okay saving a world orb, you can click save as, and then it will save it inventory. I'll do this. Once it's finished, it will disappear. Like that. And then as you make changes to this world, however many changes you make, you can use this button, save changes, to save it to that same world orb it's created. So that will not make two worlds. Saving changes just saves the change to that world that you've made. You can see up here syncing bar. Once it's reached 100%, uploading asset variants, all synced. Once it says all synced, you know that it has been thoroughly saved. Now, there are a bunch of options here that you can select. And there are some options here as well. So say that you want to bring some friends to this world. Say you have made it like a contacts plus world and you want to bring the world orb to a different session and say, hey guys, you should totally come here to my world. Well, once you have made it uh, contacts or contacts plus or public enough, then you can click the get session orb. So now this you can bring to other places and have people come to this world by double clicking on this orb. It is normally going to be a purple or a pink kind of color. Now, something to note, this is a session orb. It is not a world orb. A session orb is only for the session that you're currently hosting. I am currently hosting this session. So if I wanted a world orb, so somebody else could perhaps save this world, First of all, you'd have to have the correct permissions. So you can change the permissions of your contact, of a visitor, 
anything like this. And by the way, once you set these, they will save when you save changes as well. So, these, I can get world orb. Now, this world orbs are going to generally be yellow like this. And then this you can save to your inventory or, you know, perhaps like sends to people in your contacts list, that kind of thing. But I can just delete it for now. I don't really need it. And it doesn't delete the world if you delete the world orb. I can show you how to delete a world in just a minute. So something about building worlds. You don't necessarily need to know how to use an inspector or tools to build a world. You can spawn things out of your inventory. So let's see, if I delve into my inventory a bit, I do have world items, assets, like furniture. So, Say I wanted a cool place to sit for me and my friends. And I'll put it away from spawn since I don't want to clutter up spawn. It could make things a little bit laggy. So now I have a nice little chair. <laughs> and I didn't even need to open an inspector for that. Now, if you want to make it so the chair is not grabbable, see, I can, I can still grab it and move it around, then I will have to bring out tools um, or, you know, open an inspector or something like that. So if you are going to be, if you're going to be building a world, I do highly suggest learning how to use the tools. It will be very beneficial. And... You can change materials as well, like the skybox. You can change the lighting. And this is all something that you can do within the inspector. For example, if I bring out a skybox, because maybe, like, maybe I don't like, you know, how this looks. It's just sort of plain. Maybe I want something fancy. So I have a skybox here. Skybox or projection 360 material, that's a specific type of material. And if I get out the Resonite Essentials material tooltip, which is just under tools in Resonite Essentials, equip this, Put the world orb, or put the uh, orb, material orb, in here, and then just click the sky. Now, you can see, it's a lot cooler. <laughs> and there are so many different types of sky boxes and materials and things such as that. In fact, I could even turn the floor into a sky box if I wanted to. But that's kind of spooky, because now it's like I'm floating in midair, right? So just undo if I wanted to undo that. So, when it comes to building, a world that is it's not that hard but that depends on how easily you can learn the tools okay so now that we've done this i would like to show you how to properly delete a world because you cannot delete a world by just spawning out the world orb and deleting it normally all right so i'm going to jump Back to the campus. Here I am. Hello. And by the way, Jumping Worlds is as easy as that. You can just click on the world and it will refocus you back to the world as long as you're still AFK in there. Right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my inventory where I saved that world. And I will spawn out the world orb. This. However, instead of just deleting it through my context menu, like this, instead, I am actually going to click on the orb, and it gives you a whole bunch of different options. 
Now there are options that let you like start sessions and you can edit the data and you can clone the world and stuff like that. But there is this delete world button. Look at that. It gives you another one that's like, are you sure you really want to do that? Click it again. And then it's like, are you really sure you want to do that? Because this will permanently delete the world. And then you click it again. And now the world is gone forever. So the only instances in which I would suggest deleting a world is if perhaps if you've made too many copies of a world and you want to get rid of some of the copies, or if you are running out of storage space because worlds can take up a good amount of storage space. There is also publishing your world. So if you're very proud of your work and it is appropriate for the public, then there is a way that you can publish it to the public very easily. So in Resonate Essentials, again, there is a tool. It is the second tool in there. And this is the world publishing tool. So all you would need to do in this circumstance is take the world orb for your world and put it in this little orb right here, in this little sphere. And then you just click this and it will say it's publishing. And once it's done publishing, it will sort of pop out and it will say submitted or published, um, something along those lines. And please keep in mind that publishing worlds can sometimes take a while. Uh, I would also not recommend publishing the world when you're currently in the world. I have found problems with that, but not everybody has problems with that. Um, I would say be prepared to spend anywhere between a couple of minutes and a few hours waiting for this thing to publish. Kind of also depends on how much you have in the world as well. So that is the rundown on how to create your own world.